Hey guys, Mr. Backer here. In this video, we're going to use inverse trig ratios to help us find missing angles within right triangles. If we take a look at this triangle that we're given, our vertical side is going to be 15 and that horizontal side is 20. And what I want to do is I want to focus on angle A. Based on what we know about our trig stuff, if we're looking at angle A, 15 is the opposite side and 20 is the adjacent side. So we can set up a tangent equation based on this picture. So we get the tangent of angle A is equal to 15 over 20. But we can reduce down that fraction. That's the same as 3 fourths. But instead of just looking at this tangent fraction, what I want to do is I want to figure out how big angle A actually is. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this fraction and turn it into a decimal. If we take 3 divided by 4, we get 0.75. So now our equation says the tangent of angle A equals 0.75. And our goal is going to be to figure out what A is. So we need to get A all by itself. This is where our inverse trig ratios are going to come into play. Because the tangent of angle A is equal to 0.75, what I can do is I can rewrite this equation to say that the measure of angle A is going to equal the inverse tangent of this 0.75 decimal. And then what we need to do is we need to grab our calculators and type this right-hand part into our calculator. So if I type in the inverse tangent of 0.75, then that tells me that the measure of angle A is about 36.9 degrees. If we take a look at our next example, now we've got the vertical side as 14, and our hypotenuse is going to be 22. This time we're going to focus on angle B. So 14 is the opposite side, and 22 is the hypotenuse. And if we think about our SOHCAHTOA, the sine uses opposite and hypotenuse. So I'm going to write out a sine equation. So we get the sine of b equals 14 over 22. I'm going to divide 14 by 22 in my calculator. And when I do that, I get 0.6364. Now since we're dealing with a sine equation, if we want to figure out how big angle b is, we're going to have to write out an inverse sine equation. So our inverse sine equation says that the measure of angle b is equal to the inverse sine of that decimal that we got earlier. Now if we type this into our calculator, we end up with the measure of angle B as about 39.5 degrees. In our last example, we've got a horizontal side as 12 and our hypotenuse as 17, and we want to figure out how big angle E is. So in this one, if we're thinking SOHCAHTOA, 12 is adjacent to E, and 17 is the hypotenuse, so that means we're going to be setting up a cosine equation. So we get the cosine of E equals 12 over 17. Now what I want to do is I want to take that 12 divided by 17 and type that into my calculator. And when we do that, we get about 0.7059. Now this is a cosine equation, so we need to use an inverse cosine to help us figure out how big angle E is. And if we type this inverse cosine of our decimal into our calculator, we get the measure of angle E to be about 45.1 degrees. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.